Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of bumper mount hitches available from UltraFab. These are designed to work on square, whether that's 4x4 or 4.5x4 rear bumpers. You want to make sure that it's a solid bumper. But it's going to give you an additional attachment point here on the back with a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Now in the undermount position mounted under our bumper, this is going to be ideal for your ball mounts or for towing. It can also be flipped over and mounted on top if you want to use cargo carriers or bike racks. All in all, it gives you a 350 pound tongue weight rating. That's going to be the maximum downward force we can put on it. And it gives us a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. That would be the total weight of our trailer and anything we were to load up on it. Now in most of your usage situations, you're going to be using this for small utility trailers, maybe a few ATVs you want to take with you, maybe a smaller boat. Or it's going to help you to get additional items. Maybe you don't want a bunch of muddy items inside of your camper. Throw them on a cargo carrier back here. I like bike racks in this style of hitch. They're going to come out. You want to, of course, choose something that's RV or, or trailer, travel trailer approved. But it allows you to hang them just like you would on the back of a car versus like the ladder style racks where they kind of hang up and down. They're a little bit of a pain to get the bikes loaded up on. Now here on the bottom, you can see we've got the round steel stock style safety chain connection points and it's going to use a 5 8 diameter pinhole that's going to be pretty standard with most class 3 you just want to choose a a pin that's rated for class 3 there's also going to be decent room there so if you want to use an anti rattle device or even a locking hitch pin you shouldn't have any problem there holding it onto the bumper you can see we're going to have the large u bolts those are going to be secured using a flat washer lock washer and a nut you want to be sure you get those torqued down properly. And we'll torque down the two here at the rear first, then go to the ones in the front. White zinc finish on all the hardware. That should help to resist a lot of corrosion we'll be dealing with. And then the black powder coat finish is going to help make sure this lasts for a very long time. Now we'll take a second and kind of do a comparison. We'll compare our UltraFab versus some of the other styles that are available designed like this, and also the cross tube style. So the one thing I would watch out for, especially if you're going to be hauling a trailer, is to make sure that the wraparound type like this, if this is what you go with, is rated for use with trailers. Some of them are not rated for that. Some of them are just rated for cargo carriers and bike racks. So you want to keep that in mind. The other type that we have would be, or if you want a little bit higher capacity, we've got them to where there's a cross tube that goes all the way across and you'll actually mount plates onto the frame of your RV on both sides. It's going to give you more of a traditional style hitch with the cross tube and the receiver tube opening. That usually adds some weight capacity, so if you've got heavier loads or heavier carriers, I'd probably go that route. But keep in mind, there's often welding and drilling that's going to be required when getting those installed. Now, regardless of whether you have the 4 inch by 4 inch or the 4 by 4 and a half inch bumper, we need to mount our hitch on there dependent on our use. So for ball mount use, if we're going to be towing with it, we want this to be up on the bottom, just like that. You can see we've marked the center of our bumper. We want to keep it close to center, especially for ball mount use. For bike racks or cargo carriers, we want to mount that on there the opposite direction, so the weight's pressing down. We're going to mount them with the two U-bolts that are provided. This needs to go down and around the bumper. Get our hardware ready here. We'll slide that right up and on. Now at each spot here, we want to put on a flat washer, a lock washer, and our nut. Now we'll just select the position we want it, make sure our U-bolts are running up and down, and we can snug up our nuts there. Wrench size, you'll want to use a 19 millimeter or a three quarter inch. Now with those snugged up, it's time to get our bolts torqued down. You want to go with the specifications that are listed in your instructions. We're going to do the two on the rear first, then the two in the front. And that's going to complete our look at the UltraFab bumper mount RV hitches.